So you saw my younger siblings make all the sweet school snacks. So today I'm going to be making the savoury school snacks. Because it's always good to have a little bit of balance. So today I'll be making some pinwheels and some savoury veggie muffins. Let's start with our ingredients that we're going to need for the pinwheels. So first of all you're going to need some puff pastry sheets. You're going to need some cheese. Now you can use any cheese that you like to eat but we're going to do a combination today of the mozzarella and some ricotta. You'll need some ham. You could also use bacon if you liked um, so long as you dice it and cook it first. We're just going to use some ham slices today and dice those really finely. And then you need some sauce. Now we're just going to use plain old tomato sauce, which is also known as um, ketchup in other countries. Or you could use like a passata or a pasta sauce, which is also known as a tomato sauce in other countries. So whatever you like, you could also use barbecue, chili, um, mustard, anything that you like. Feel free to put um, on top of the pastry sheets. So I've just split the ham into two piles and now I'm just going to start dicing it up. Now we're just going to preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. So we're just waiting for our pastry to thaw. So you just need to make sure you pull that out and pull the plastic off it. It shouldn't take too long. Now that the pastry has thawed so it's soft and we will be able to roll it up, we're going to start by putting some ricotta onto the pastry. So when you're putting the fillings on the pastry, make sure you leave a little bit of space down one side because as you roll the pastry up the fillings are going to move and compress as you're rolling and you don't want them to all spill out the end of the pastry roll. Next we put some sauce on, you won't need too much just squeeze it straight out of the bottle and then use the back of a spoon to spread it out. So next we're just going to sprinkle some of the ham that we diced up before all over the surface. Make sure it's really well spread out and you can be as generous as you like with it as well. Now you could add lots of other things here too, couldn't you? If you had leftover onion, tomatoes, any kind of veggies, you could even put grated veggies in here if you wanted to. It's a great great little recipe that you could use up all those leftovers in the fridge. Now we're going to put some mozzarella cheese over the top. Now mozzarella cheese is often used with pizzas because it melts really well. Once you're happy with the amount of ingredients on your piece of pastry, next comes the rolling it up and getting ready to cut it to put on the trays. Now one thing that we probably should have done before we <laughs> put the ingredients on here was to pick it up and put it onto the board so that once it's rolled up we don't have to move it again, we could actually cut it directly on the cutting board. But um, whoops, we didn't do that so we're just going to roll it up here and then we'll put it onto the board.
to prepare the tray you just need to either brush in some oil or to use a spray oil. So once the pinwheels have been cooked and removed from the oven, you let them cool and then you can pop them into a container. Now you can put them into a deep container, you can put some baking paper between them, put the lid on nice and tight and pop the whole container into the freezer. And when you want to use them, they can just be taken out, popped into a school lunch box, they'll be thawed by lunchtime for the kids to eat. Um, they thaw really well actually, most pastries do. Um, or you could pre-wrap pre these if you wanted to, but I find just popping them into one large container is a better use of space in the freezers. making the pinwheels the other day but we ran out of time so it's a little bit colder today but we're gonna get into making our savory veggie muffins all of these are the ingredients make sure you've got some kind of muffin tray or these ones are made of silicon so these are soft um, they make them easier to get out of but you can just use a normal cupcake tray as well. Just make sure that you spray oil them really well before you put the mixture into them and cook them. Now you're going to need some milk, you're going to need some Greek yogurt, just some plain Greek yogurt, you're going to need some eggs, some cheese. Again you could use any kind of cheese that you like in your family. So different types of cheese, different flavours, different outcomes. So you'll, you'll uh, end up making a muffin that your family will eat. You'll need some olive oil, some self-raising flour. Now if you don't have self-raising flour where you are, you can also use some plain flour. You can have um, wholemeal flour or white flour, that's fine. And But if you're going to use plain flour, you'll also need some baking powder as well. You can put any veggies that you like into this mix. Now the standard ones that are generally used are zucchinis and some carrots. You could put some corn, frozen peas. You could also add things like bacon or ham to it as well. So if you don't have fresh veggies, you could use frozen ones. Just remember though that when they defrost down, there's a little bit of liquid in that. So just account for that with the amount of milk that you put into your um, muffin mix. Now you could use something like this, which is a veggie rice. So this is broccoli, cauliflower, garlic, and parsley. So you could substitute anything like that as well into your muffin mix. Okay, the first thing to do is to preheat the oven. So pop it on fan bake at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to hand this over to Eve and Eve's going to put it all together for me. Alright, so first I'm just going to top and tail the zucchinis and the carrots and grate them up. So the zucchini is all grated. Now to get the extra moisture out of it, um, you can use a tea towel, you can put the zucchini inside the tea towel and you can squash the extra liquid out before you pop it into the bowl.
making the muffins now. I think some of those are going to go into the school lunches tomorrow, and the rest will go into the freezer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. God bless.